Pump it. Louder. Hello and welcome to Edo's Catch Up number 67. I'm Will. Ooh. Oh, we're so close to the number. I'm mm. Josh. Uh, and today on the show, DuckTail Drawings. And, oh no, I clicked off. Uh, and Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Class. Oh, you're right. That is good. Room. Yeah, thank you. That is very good. Um, Thanks so much. You're fresh from Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Every podcast. Again, another two-hour podcast coming at you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um <laughs> Yeah, not so much, mm, but mm. Mm. I did get some fresh, like, five Lego bricks today. Oh, nice. Um, which means I've almost finished my Lego Fender guitar set. Good. Um, I have them here. Mm -hmm. um, before I start showing them, I'll just explain. Uh, my bag number 10 mm. is missing five parts. Damn. Which sucks. I've never had a, a Lego set missing parts. Yeah. Um, but this one was missing a bunch. Mm hmm uh, but thankfully, on the LEGO website, you can go on, you can uh, look up the exact set yep. um, and look at all of the parts and you can pick what parts that you might be missing mm. and you can order them. They're free. They'll just send them to you, Yeah. Um, which is very nice because it's their bad, essentially. Yep. I think that's the theory is that they made the mistake. Yep. You can probably do it for any set, even if you've lost one mm. piece. <laughs> yeah. um, they won't know. Yep. Uh, and they make so much money anyway. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah. Yeah. I am absolutely in love with this set so far. <laughs> so oh, it's so much a, bigger than I thought. It's it's pretty, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. So this is like head for scale. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah. So there's like actual kind of fabric strings. Yeah. There's an actual like strap. <laughs> it's so cool. It's a fender little strap thing. Yeah. Which I thought was also missing. Mm. But there was a weird like cardboard box that looked like, you know. COVID tests. How yeah, you yeah, have yeah. the um this is weird. It sounds like a weird tangent. Okay. <laughs> um you know, uh how you get the the um COVID test and they have mm -hmm. like a little box or like something with holes in it mm -hmm. for you to mm -hmm. put the vials of yep. of snot and yeah, stuff yeah. in them. Yeah. Um it looked like a box like that. Yeah, all right. And I was like, I don't know what this is gonna be mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. Um, cause it had the holes in it already like, you know, pre-punched. So it yep. looked like I was going to be placing things inside mm. to hold them or whatever. Yeah. And I got to the very end of making the guitar and I'm like, crap. No strap. They, they, they left the strap out. Mm. And then I opened this box with weird holes in it. Yeah. And it had the strap in it. Um, I had sure. already ordered the strap <laughs> cool. from the replacements website okay. and they were like, we don't have this. Oh, we wow. Can't, we can't give you this. Um, oh, interesting. So I, don't, I don't know why. So you, but, you, uh, you yeah. unintentionally tried to rot the system and the system said no. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, wow. yeah. They were onto me. <laughs> um, it's got like a little, little whammy bar. It's very cool. Um, comes with a, a, a guitar stand mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that also actually closes up. <laughs> Sick. Because <laughs> of That's course it does. very cool. Here's the amp. That's so good. Very cool. <laughs> um, it's not quite finished yet. Yep. Uh, there is a back that's meant to go mm. on it. There's the speaker. That's so Like, good. literally, there's a there's a back covering for this. Yeah. So you can't see any of Hide all this. of that, yeah. <laughs> like, the fact that there's a speaker, there's even, like, uh, there's going to be wires mm -hmm. that wire up the speaker yep. to the amp mm. up here. Mm -hmm. And then you put a cover over the top of all of that so you can't see it anymore. Yeah. And then you've got the front. You got like stickers and stuff that say Fender, the name of the, so the amp itself. Yeah. Um, these these rotate. This whole piece just very easily lifts off. It doesn't actually clip in. Yeah. So that you can see <laughs> the electronics inside. Why, Lego? <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Um, yeah. So it looks like all the different components and electronic pieces and resistors and things. So yeah. I am so incredibly excited to show my... <laughs> My dad, yeah, um, yeah, my electronics engineer dad, who mm -hmm. will look at that and tell me what all of the pieces are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, it's just ridiculous. It's like <laughs> it's so much. There's so much in it. It's so it's detailed. Very cool. That's and so uh, down the bottom, you can't, you won't be able to see it. Mm. Um, oh, you can. There's like a little coil. Yeah, in here. <laughs> Um, that's so cool. Which is very cool as well. But yeah, that's behind like clear Lego mm. pieces that I can barely see. Yeah. You can see it better on camera. <laughs> on camera than you can in real life. That's such um, a cool it's yeah. such a cool little display item. It is. It's very, <laughs> very cool. So that'll be back there. I've built like nearly all of my Yeah. All of my Lego sets. I had four or five of them. Yep. 
had four of them. Yeah. Um, but they're all they're, they're all there. really done now. They're all they're all nice display pieces. Like they're, they're they're like clean Lego sets. They're very cool. Yeah, it was a good it was a good birthday last year. <laughs> last year, God, it's good. We're it's just good getting to, around. Yeah, to you're doing it before your next one at least. So, you That's know, right. You're ticking those boxes just in time. Um, uh, from a very small piece of technology to a big one, we're finally getting a new telly that uh, is going to have that crisp Ooh. OLED technology nice which we're very excited it's in a box out there once we finish this pod oh you've got it already yeah yeah so black Dang. friday sales we got the we got those things knocked down nice of course. Uh, we punched that man in the face and knocked him to the ground and we took that television <laughs> out it was great um i'm keen i'm keen to boot it up i don't know what i'm gonna play it might i might, I might play some spidey on it because it's also mm-hmm. 120 refresh rate so it's gonna look super buttery smooth. That look very um, nice. So I might, I might play a bit of that, and, and and maybe an Infinity War or some, something that's got some pure black 4K yeah. sickness. Yeah, um, yeah, very nice. I'm excited, especially ahead of Doctor Who as well, which is gonna look crispy. Ooh, um, yes. So I'm keen for that. But very good. That's all that's been happening in my world. Should we see what's happening in the rest of the world, Josh? Let's let's see. Let's see what's happening. What's happening, world? <laughs> Okay, so I've mentioned a few times before um, that there was a cool sounding uh, physical health class, like a mm. personal training class or something at the University of Melbourne, mm. uh, which I later found out was actually in Canada. Um, that class was called the Science of Batman. That's right. I feel like I mentioned it a, a few times before. Yeah. Um, and it looks at the human limits, sorry, the limits of the human body mm-hmm. um, through Batman stories. Yep. So can you recover from having your back broken mm-hmm, mm-hmm. things like that can, can you, you do the you bat know, swee for the <laughs> <laughs> can you dance that possible? <laughs> was that only done by adam west yeah, never again <laughs> um uh but i think i found a new contender for my new favorite university class okay um the intro may have mm spoiled it already to some extent mm-hmm. but ryan so cold so chol oh you, whatever you i'm just gonna call him ryan for the rest of this yeah um the university of maryland's associate professor of mechanical engineering mm-hmm. and director of bio-inspired advanced manufacturing laboratory jesus which it shortens to bam nice the bear lab. <laughs> That's way better. Um, it's so cool. Uh, has started a new mechanical engineering class called The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Machine Design. <laughs> okay. It was probably mechanical design, yeah. and I've typed that wrong. Yeah. Your pun we'll was see. better. Thank you. Thank you. That sucks. Um, you, can, you can find uh, a YouTube video of Ryan uh, discussing this. Mm-hmm. He says, um, what surprised me was, uh, as I was playing through Tears of the Kingdom, mm. Was that uh, was the unexpected emphasis on machine design and engineering? So this is all specifically around of Breath of the Wild. Uh, sorry, Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, around the um, goo and the the machine building in that. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, he said, so the game includes a number of different types of machine elements like rockets, motorized wheels, and propellers. Mm-hmm. And what's interesting is that each of those different machine elements uses energy differently. Okay. Um, so the idea of the class is, um, students are paired into, um, a teams of, uh, th- three to four people, mm-hmm. um, wait, paired in teams. <laughs> That's not right. Four people per group. <laughs> no. That's what the, this is what Kotaku said. Jesus, Kotaku. They're given a Nintendo Switch, mm-hmm. um, with a physical copy of Tears of the Kingdom. Nice. And a pro controller. Um, and students can take those home during the semester wow. to muck around with things. Yep. Um, initially, students learn the basics of Tis the Kingdom's uh, machine elements mm-hmm. um, and complete in-game problem-solving challenges. Um, and then the teams are tasked with investigating um, a specific machine element in the game mm-hmm. to discover how it performs under various kinds of circumstances. Cool. Um, because you can like attach it to different things and mm. you know have it in in uh, various circumstances. You can have it on land, you can have it in water, all those sorts of things. Yeah. How that performs and how that changes uh, that particular machine yep. element. Um, and finally, uh, students take what they've learned to undergo a machine design challenge with tests that see the team's prototype um, and construct 
a transforming bio-inspired amphibious <laughs> robotic vehicle <laughs> for an in-class race. Wow. Uh, and the team with the fastest robot on land and in sea cool. wins. Cool. Cool. Very, very cool. Um, the sign up for the course was overwhelming, as yep. you would expect, mm -hmm. um, with over 100 students applying, but only 20 places. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Ryan 20. initially um, had a questionnaire that asked students about their history with Zelda and yep. Tears of the Kingdom, um, but he ended up just using a random number generator to pick the students to get cool. kind of more of a random range. Mm. Um, apparently, most students hadn't played it. The, co the course started a month after the game was released as well. Yeah, cool. Wow, you really so timed the that well. the game, I think, yeah, came out in May, <laughs> yeah. and then the course started in June. Yeah. Um, uh, so f um, most of the students that were chosen in this random number generator hadn't played the game mm -hmm. at all yet. Um, yeah, wow. Hadn't, I think, had experience with Zelda before. Wow. <laughs> So random it would have been their choice, first foray. yeah. 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 Um, four students had played it mm -hmm. out of the twenty. Mm -hmm. One had beaten it in that month. That makes sense, of course. <laughs> at least, at someone least had one. to have. Yeah, that's it. Um, but that also means that Ryan pitched and won the subject to the university within a month of the game coming yeah. out for that next term or semester, um, and wrote a term or semester's worth of content to fill a class. Yeah. Boom. So quick. Wow. Um, very, very cool. Yeah. Uh, an interesting note that uh, that Ryan made was the students with the least experience with Tears of the Kingdom mm -hmm. won the race. Makes sense. At the end. It was very interesting. <laughs> they would have soaked it all up fresh in, in the way that he was teaching it, I guess. Potentially, yeah. Rather than- Yeah, absolutely. I know what I'm maybe doing. It's just, yeah, maybe it's just um the, the students that are playing the games the least- mm are actually focusing on their studies. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. The kids that went like, oh, fuck yeah, Nintendo Switch. Oh, cool. Exactly. Like, yeah. yeah, just playing, I don't know, Breath of the Wild instead. <laughs> instead of Tears um, of the Kingdom. I couldn't think of any other game. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Neither could Nintendo. It's been like six years. <laughs> uh, so good. Um, but uh, just to, to end this, um, to end the news, uh, mm. Ryan is looking to expand the course to make it uh, more intensive, which would make it worth more credits at the uh, university. Yep. It's currently a one credit course. Yeah, so wow. it's a very, very small, probably short course. Mm -hmm. um, so it's probably, maybe it's like a term long course and is looking to make it a semester long course mm -hmm. or something like that. Um, so it's currently worth one. I think he wants it to be worth like three or four. Yeah, cool. Um, and he wants to structure it so that other universities can take it and offer something cool. really similar. Cool, yeah. Um, to, to have a more hands-on like gamifying mm -hmm. Um, education kind of yeah, awesome. course, which is very, very cool. That's sweet. Um, yeah, so there's a there's a video. It's about three and a half, four minutes long mm -hmm. um, of him, like, actually showing you what he's doing. You can see the the students kind of hands-on with the game. Yep. Um, yeah, it's really That's cool. cool. I, um, I feel like we haven't heard this sort of stuff in a while. Like, Minecraft was doing it for a long time, and I think still doing mm. it, but I haven't heard, like, a new version of that in a long time which is cool yeah there's not there feels like there's not many games that are doing it except for maybe there's kind of like maybe machine optimizing yeah kind of things like your um infinifactory Factorio, and factorio yeah. and stuff like that yeah yeah there'd be games like that that would probably be really good mm. for that sort of thing yeah um whether those teachers are clued onto it or not yeah uh, mine, I guess, is a very educational, but it's very sweet. Um, you've probably heard of her, Kate Mikushi. Uh, you've probably seen her in things like Scrubs, Big Bang Theory, most American sitcoms. For me, I know her most from, uh, DuckTales. She plays Webby. Uh, this is what she looks like. You've seen her before. She's very sweet and little. As a picture, if you're watching, you can see, she says, so this summer I drew on what I thought was a construction site. There was uh, a construction site in New York that she drew on. There were just bright yellow columns. So she was just like, I don't know, these will probably go away. And she drew these really sweet drawings. You'll see very quickly that this is not a construction site, but they're very exactly what you would expect this person to draw. Just like yep, ch childlike, chunky, blocky characters. Um, yes. Super adorable. She drew. They're on, really. They're kind of cool too. Like I like them. Totally. They've got their uh, their own identity, which is really sweet. Yeah. Um, but she, yeah, she drew on this construction site. 
then walked past this place. It turned out that it was an Indian restaurant uh, and that she'd just drawn on the exterior of the restaurant, um, which you can see in uh, this shot here. Um, Jazz bar is what it's called. <laughs> is all of the stuff there hers? Yeah. So you can see so many there. Totally. Like, she would have been there for like half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. At least. Just drawing on drawing these little on things. This. And you can see it's very like wood paneling and That's... stuff. It totally looks temporary if it was all yeah. enclosed and, and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So 100%. she drew, drew on this thing. It's called Jazz Bar uh, in New York City. It is not just like your local Indian place. It's actually owned by uh, Rajesh and Ashke Bajwa, who uh, were all, are also the owners of a fine dining restaurant called Janoon, which is the US's first Indian restaurant to ever earn a Michelin star. So this is like, wow, this is a pedigree. This is like a fancy place. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, uh, so when she found this out, she recorded it. It's all in uh, on her TikTok. She found out, she went inside and was like, look. I mean, you definitely know that this is on the outside of your building. Are you cool with it? If not, I'll paint over it. I'll bring yellow paint and I'll just paint over mm -hmm. it. And, and they were like, no. And so they instead just got her, and I haven't, I haven't got a photo, but they got her to finish the job. And so all around those window frames oh. now are her, all of her art. So she came back uh, like the following week and just drew all over this building. They were like, we love them. We, we'll have more. Go for it. That's so fun. <laughs> yeah. What the heck? So I'll look it up. Uh, yeah. So the, the the scribbles are now part of the restaurant's identity, which is really sweet. That's really <laughs> cool. Um, that's really cool. I feel like I'm not gonna. No, I'm not gonna be. You able won't. To you probably that's won't. fine. No. Yeah. Um, that's sick, though. What a what a fun thing. Totally. I'll I'll, I'll try and find some more photos and stuff uh, and check them in the Discord because yeah, it's just a very sweet thing. When you were like, let's do news, it was the first thing I was like, if he finds news, then I know what I want to talk about because yeah. it's a very yeah. sweet story. Nice. Um, so yeah, uh, that's uh, that's the news. That's the news. Should we check some cues? Let's check them cues. Uh, Welcome to Cues from News. This is where we take cues from news. Uh, we asked for them and you bloody well gave them. Um, you filled up our well, pockets. Mostly, mostly one of you. Yeah, you, a singular, and also Dion. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gave us some really cool new questions. Josh, do you have one that you want to fire away? I do, I do. Um, Dolphin Pants, if you two swapped jobs, mm. what do you think would be the easiest and hardest aspects? Oh, that's good. Mm. I'm trying to think, and it's the whole point. I'm trying to think in both of our jobs, what's the easiest part? Because <laughs> if I suddenly had to code uh, and, and be living in those, those things, that would be hard. Mm. Yeah, because my, my part would be the creativity that you have to mm. come up with because I'm not a creative person. Yeah. It, well, not it's, visually creative whatsoever. So we're, so, we're flipping it, basically. So whatever creative stuff that you have to do in your job, I'd be like, hell yeah. <laughs> I'll design yeah, up these much. cute little menus. I'll do the things. Yes. Uh, yep. But I'll be in a, a user interface uh, that I've like, I don't know what I'm looking at, man. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but your creativity. Because I feel like you'd be good at like, like cutting things down. Like, you could probably, like, bring things down and, and be very... Yeah, because I feel like you're in, pretty logical. in my previous editing, yeah, yeah, when I was doing YouTube, I was mm. able to, to do that. Yeah. I was able to cut things down and get it to a point. Yeah. Um, but it was always the, like, making it pop and making it kind of exciting and, and do those mm. sorts of things that was always the... Uh, more of the struggle for me, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. It's just the opposite ends of the spectrum. Totally. totally. Uh, it's probably why we've worked so well together yeah. for so long. Yeah. And we meet in the middle. Um, That's it. Um, easiest part. Yeah. Using Slack for both of us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> we both feel like, yeah, I know how to use Slack. I'm good. <laughs> mm, yes. Um, I could play the games pretty well. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how to, how to classify the easiest part of... Mm. Our jobs, because part of your job is also to play games. <laughs> yeah, it's also in there. Um, it's pretty sweet. Hitting exports pretty pretty easy. Mm. Mm. Uh, that, that's one. Maybe um, uh, I don't know. It's potentially not like entirely part of your job, but mm. I think I would at least enjoy, uh, or maybe change your job to be more something that I would enjoy, which would be um, like the technical side mm. and like 
mm. uh, working with Pete on, you know, like the audio stuff. And yeah, the, yeah. You know, setting setting up cameras and, and things like that. And the yeah. maybe, yeah, a bit more of the, the hardware and yeah. wiring and, and that sort of side. That would be kind of cool. That would be interesting. Yeah, that'd be cool. And yeah. and likewise, I'd push your job into a creative world. I'd be like, yeah, I can do definitely. more things. That's uh, it. So that's, exactly. again, we're again, the same thing. We, we would we're just change changing our the job. Jobs. Yeah. <laughs> we just get we're changing, more creative yeah. and less creative and just change our own job descriptions. Yeah. yeah Pretty much. Well done, everybody. Love it. <laughs> I'm glad we answered that question perfectly. <laughs> um, <laughs> so good. No, no, Dion. Uh, I'm friends with Sam. It's okay. Uh, what's your go-to pizza topping? Um, mm. Mine is, I mean, it's, I guess it's not the specific topping. We, we always answer this question perfectly. If I was going to say it. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> the topping is chicken, but it's barbecue mm -hmm. chicken, which comes with the chicken, the avocado, uh, and like some mayonnaise and shallots and stuff. Like that's yes. my that's my thing. If I can get that, if that's on a menu, I've I'm, I've been one. Mayonnaise, barbecue sauce. I don't know why I said mayonnaise. <laughs> mayonnaise. <Yeah>. Interesting. <laughs> um, mine depends on the place, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm going Domino's, yep. I'm going uh, double bacon cheeseburger. Yeah, that's a Finchy, generally that's a Finchy um, favorite. As well, yes, yeah, absolutely, and that has a swirl of mayonnaise. Ah, there you go, <laughs> circle back around. Um, Just like yeah, the mayonnaise. My, that's right. It's my favorite. It's been my favorite since high school. Mm -hmm. um, love it. If if we go on something like more fancy, going mm -hmm. to like a nice restaurant, yep. if they've got like a lamb, yeah, like yeah, 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 lamb or like oh, a lamb yeah. feta or something like something like that. Mm -hmm. Sign me up, like absolutely go and go on the lamb. Lamb is my favorite meat. I feel like we mentioned that before mm -hmm. when we've uh, answered food related questions yep. um so yeah good if there's pick. if there's lamb on the on the menu oh man mm -hmm. i'm on it that's a good pick um thank you nice. thank you no no dear so much uh um do we have time for another yeah one? we got another another yeah. round nice uh i've got uh dolphin pants again mm -hmm. um ideal nerdy names for your future children oh that's good is this our our child, like your if and we, my yeah? If, if one of us child? popped one, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Um, I like the popped one could refer to the act as well as making the child. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. Yeah, um, I was it combined in the air, <laughs> <laughs> just Great. fire it. And, yeah, um, um, that's a good. Question. I've ever ever since I've found out that. Um, Robin Williams named his daughter mm. Zelda. Mm -hmm. Always been like Zelda and Link would be very cute. Yeah. yeah, of course. For a a boy and a girl, mm -hmm. um, I will say they have been vetoed. Oh damn! In my current <laughs> marriage. <laughs> um, so I don't, I don't think it's gonna mm. happen. You should have, uh, you should have kept your love of the games away, and then you would have been have. sweet. That's right. Yeah, that would have been good. Yeah. Um. But uh, but yes, um, Link and Zelda have mm. always been some some cute names I thought of. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, because Zelda works. You've got yeah Zelda Fitzgerald. You've got Zelda Williams. Yeah. You have uh, Link Neil mm. um, of Rhett and Link. Yeah. Uh, who is actually a Charles? Yeah. Charles Lincoln, but everyone just calls him Link. Link. Um, fun fact for anyone that didn't know that. Yeah. I. <laughs> Yeah, yeah Link, Link. and then like you could always go like a you know a Pete and a Mary Jane or mm. a Pete and a, a Gwendolyn. Gwen. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say I was gonna say I'd love to bring Gwen back as a name. Mm. I think it's, a, it's so a very cute. sweet yeah. name. Um, I I mean I'd love an Ahsoka. I think that's a cool name. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> to be able to give your kid. And then Ahsoka and then they, they'd just be called Ash. Like they'd probably end up with an Ash True. later yeah. on in life. But I think Ahsoka yeah. is. Is there, and it's also like it's it's. I think it's Nordic. I, I think it's it's wolf related because Dave Filoni okay. loves his wolves. So it's got like non Star Wars origins, but I'd yeah. obviously have yeah. that that angle. Um, yeah, so and Nordic names are just cool anyway. They well. are. They are. They're so much cooler. Like um, yeah. uh, I, know, I know I know a saga. How cool is that? Saga. Yeah, that is cool. That That's is cool. Fucking sick. What's um? What's that? Uh, that singer's name? Bjork. <laughs> Aurora? Aurora? <laughs> Aurora. Yeah, yeah. Aurora is also a cool I like name. to be caught that. 
crack your knuckles at the same time. <laughs> it's going to be great. It, it gets me hard. <laughs> oh, man. It's the weirdest video. It's so strange. <laughs> Very odd. I've recently introduced Max to that. Good. As well as candy. Yeah. Good In double. the last, like, two weeks. Double billing. I didn't introduce Max to the concept of... Of lollies, of candy. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. The song Candy by... By Robbie Williams. <laughs> Robbie Williams. Yeah. I was going to say Robin Williams. Like, <laughs> no, no, that's not right. No, he made Zelda, not he Candy. He did make Zelda. That's right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Candy's a great name if it wasn't uh, Alan's girlfriend and Two and a Half Men. Because that's all I think of. Mm. And it is also a very yeah, stripper fair. name in general. But it's totally a stripper name. It's yeah. over there. It's, the, it's kind of the go-to. Yeah. Uh, go to my church called Candy and I can't <laughs> not think about yeah. it. Yeah that idea bad parents it's unfortunate bad you um uh last one from dolphin pants uh please rate each streaming service you currently have out of 10 i think that's a fun idea um it's pretty cool i don't think any of the any of them are 10 which is well which is funny like i mean i I don't think you could ever rank anything like entertainment based a 10 yeah. It's very rare that something that's... It's like the PlayStation 1 and the NES or something, but, like, yeah. <laughs> since yeah. then, no. Um, mm-hmm. Like, a D plus, D plus is maybe a solid 8, though. I definitely yeah. get the most out of it. Yes. But I'm also, like, yeah, there's yeah. things on it that I'm like, where, 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 where's that? So there's still that, like, nagging thing of where's, where's certain Disney things. And, mm. Yeah, um, yeah. And the fact that they're, like, removing things. Yes, yeah. Could even bump it down to a 7. Yeah, because of that the bullshit. Fact that- yeah, the fact that um, World According to Jeff Goldblum is going, mm. you can't watch Actually, that yeah. anymore, and that's totally, like, it's not anywhere, I don't think. Mm, no. It probably didn't come out physically anywhere. Yeah, yeah, no. It's just gone. Yeah, that's- Like, that sucks. That's, that does suck. Uh, yeah, yeah I, get, I can give it a, maybe seven and a half, for being yeah. fair. But, but yeah, they've yeah, definitely yeah. removed some good stuff already, and they haven't been mm. around that long. Yeah, yeah. It's a little scary for the future. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, uh, we've got Netflix- <laughs> yep it's a strange one <laughs> it is because it's got some good stuff mm. it's super convenient mm. but i and just then sometimes it's just got it's just bloated uh, yeah yeah i don't i don't think Crap. about it i think no. about the shows that are on it i'm like oh that show is mm. coming to it whereas i'm like oh i should open disney plus there'll be like a star wars thing that i can watch yeah yeah i feel like you can you can go through and find like good quality stuff that we would mm. you know that we grew up on and that we're like excited about on disney plus yeah but Netflix, you're like, yeah, yep. I'll give this a go. We'll see what happens. Yeah. And it's like a real wild swing or miss. It's a pump and dump. You're like, I watch that thing. Mm. I'm out. I'm not looking at anything else. Yeah. So, but yep, but at totally. the same time, it does have like you have your. It does your, have some good stuff. It has, you have your your, your docos and you got your Stranger mm-hmm. Things and stuff. So yeah, it could, it could be a seven. Yeah, it's just tucked in behind Disney Plus. Yeah, yeah, I feel, I feel that, mm-hmm. I feel that. I think that's all my streaming services. That's, yeah, to be honest, that's all you got. The only other one that I would, I would uh, give a shout is Amazon Prime, which mm-hmm. I think to throw it or a wild curveball, I'd actually get up to like an eight and a half because it does have the ability to buy things within it, whereas the other ones are like sure. you got what you got. Whereas because Amazon's backed onto Amazon, it's like. We don't have it, but it's like ten bucks if you want to rent it, which is like mm. a good part of the service. So yeah. and and yeah, you get your invincibles and your boys and the grand tour and it's very dude oriented, but <laughs> I'm sure there's other things on there. There's another one uh for you, I feel, mm. and I would like to potentially borrow your credentials, as mm-hmm. you recently mentioned. Yeah. Uh, to catch up on a couple of yeah, releases yeah. from the year. Uh Apple TV. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, Apple yeah. TV, that's ten. Yeah? Yeah. Damn. I've never watched anything bad on Apple TV. Ever. Nice. Every single nice. thing they've ever produced is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, yeah, there's, um, there's like, I don't know, the, the ones that I'm thinking of are, like, mm. still. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got um, Ted, Lasso. Ted Lasso, which everyone's obsessed with. Shrinking. Shrinking. Um, Godzilla. Have you watched Mythic Quest? I haven't. I feel like I missed the boat, but I know people mm. liked some of it. Yeah, that might be the lower one, but mm. it's like, you know, semi-produced by yeah. Ubisoft, so yeah. that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to check that out at some point. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll fling you those dates. Yeah, yeah, nice. So a yeah. 10. I give it a 10. If not, maybe a 9, but mm. I, I just, I've never not liked what I've watched on it. And mm. it's the one it's the one that makes less, so everything they put on it is generally good. Yeah, so. fair, fair. There's not, there's not bloat. Mm. Nice. 
There you go. Thanks, Dolphin. Thank you, Dolphin. Uh, and, and Thank you, Dion, for your no, question. No, no, Dion. Uh, it's time for your favorite segment. We've got to wreck it. Wreck, 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 wreck. I got nothing to wreck, but I know you've got something to wreck. I got a few things to wreck. <laughs> um, I've watched so much this wow. week. Wow. Uh, I'll, I'll start off with the big one. Watched Scott Pilgrim takes off. Oh, it's so good. It's so <laughs> good. Um, How much of a, really, a binge was this? Was this a, did you not leave I, butt? It was a Friday night and Saturday morning into early afternoon. Nice. Yeah. Because it's uh, eight um, half, like hour. half hour episodes. Yeah. So you can smash through it in about four hours. Mm-hmm. Um, Max fell asleep twice. So there was a couple of rewatches <laughs> of a yeah. couple of episodes as well. Yeah. Um, but I absolutely loved it. Mm. Like the the way that they have, um, you know, integrated the art style into mm. an anime, um, got the voice actors in. It's very like, it's it's kind of your, your more chibi version mm. of anime. Um, like I mentioned Bee and the Puppy Cat. Mm. Uh, I watched like an episode of that ages ago and it had like weird, like a weird art style. Mm. It had kind of weird spacing in between like dialogue and stuff and it was like a little bit awkward but that was part of it yeah but uh yeah it's it's great the way that like the trailer makes you feel like it's just gonna be the movie mm-hmm. again and leading up to it they're like no we didn't want to tell the story again yeah i remember um, you getting uh, like you getting confused by what you were saying because you were like it's not the and then you would watch a trailer and you'd be like oh that's weird <laughs> but- yeah because it looks entirely just like it yeah but it it's basically the trailer seems to have mostly shown everything up to um the first fight yeah. with uh Matthew Patel. Yeah. Um during the during the the um Battle of the Bands. Mm-hmm. And and that is where there is a wild twist mm. at the end of it. Yeah. The, um, the the name of the show makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it yeah. just it absolutely, yeah, it just changes the entire thing. Mm. Um, and I, I I don't know what to say about it without mm. spoiling yeah, no, too much. It, so it, it, I, I won't yeah. just yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was it was such a good time. Yeah. I had so much fun with it. Uh, Max loved it too. Mm. Um, there's like, you know, there's a, there's a skateboard battle <laughs> um, there with Chris Evans' character. Yeah. Um, and the song that they use is a very uh, famous song, made mostly famous by the Tony Hawk series. <laughs> Good. Um, so it's not uh, it's not Superman, but yeah, it's, okay. another it's another one from yeah. there, and that yep. is the battle music, which nice. is very cool. Yeah. Um, there's multiple Avril Lavigne references to multiple of her songs. <laughs> right. I don't know if like one of them is you know uh, talking to Chris Evans' character, mm-hmm. and they're like you know. Um, no one's, you know, I think his agent calls him and it's mm. like, you know, you're being a bit of a douchebag. No one's really into the skater boy attitude. They're all saying, see you later, boy. <laughs> Good. Um, that sort of thing. And yeah. then later there's another one, which I think is like, why'd you have to go and make things so complicated? Mm-hmm. Like something like that. This is just a line <laughs> from complicated, I think, instead. Like yeah. it's, it's really weird. Uh, yeah. I absolutely loved it. Mm. It was great. It's getting, it's getting love in the Discord. Everyone, yes. Everyone's talking about milk is in love with it. <laughs> Very good, very good, <laughs> and um, and there is also a post credit scene which mm. leans into a season two. Oh, which is very wow. very good news, and I feel like from the reception that it seems to be yeah. getting, like I think IGN gave it a nine and stuff. It's been mm-hmm. received very well. Yeah, cool. um, I think it's I think it's going to get another season, which is awesome. Nice. I'm and then it will super stoked about it. It never end because they'll get a third season and then they'll get cancelled because it's on Correct. Netflix. <laughs> That's it. Segway. Unless they go the way, yes. <laughs> unless they go the way of Final Space, which I finished season two of, mm-hmm. um, there is a uh, a third season um, mm-hmm. that I have yet to watch. I think I originally did watch season one and two. Yeah. Never watched season three. Wanted to rewatch season two again. Yeah. Wow. Um, but now I've just re- rewatched season one and two mm-hmm. with Max. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the show got cancelled. Um, <laughs> Uh, at the end of season three, which yep. wasn't the end. Mm. Um, so there was a whole, you know, fight back and forth um, with the uh, the owners of it, mm-hmm. who I think there was a takeover. I think it might have been maybe part of the Warner Brothers merger and stuff. Potentially, yeah. 
potentially one of those that mm. got cancelled from there. Um, but uh, yeah, he's been uh, Olin Rogers has now been allowed to make a comic. I've probably mentioned it on yeah, this before. Yeah, yeah. He can make one comic. He has to sell it himself on his own website. So um, fucked. <laughs> uh, and that's it. Uh, that's that's all. So, mm-hmm. and I think it has to be a relatively limited run too. Yeah. So there's like just over twenty thousand copies currently being made. Um, it's very expensive. Mm. Um, but he has said that it's likely going to be five hundred or more pages. Yeah. Um, because it has to be one comic, and he's doing it to essentially summarize because you can't. As of I believe the sixteenth or seventeenth of I'm looking at yeah yeah sixteenth of December. Yeah, yeah, you'll no longer be able to watch it on Netflix International. Mm-hmm. Um, so it'll just be gone. Yeah. Uh, there are physical copies out there of season one and two, but not of three. <laughs> so Crazy. That's just gone. <laughs> um, and yeah, so part of this comic is like season one, two, and three. Oh, wow. Like kind of recapping yeah. major major moments of that to be able to fair enough to if you can only do one <laughs> tell the story that's right might Put as well just yeah. remake four se- or three seasons mm. plus an extra season to finish it's, it off it's reversed uh the boys uh no the boys invincible where he's mm. he's gone uh yeah he, he may change things in the comic whereas they changed it for the screen in the case of Inv- invincible yeah right there it is that should be interesting um it's just there's so much heart in it it's absolutely stunning yeah the show like it's it's dumb but it's got <laughs> like so much emotion to it at the mm-hmm. same time and it's like sometimes it's weirdly gory yeah and it's just like people die in nearly every episode that you care about yeah wow um it's just it's phenomenal like season two is nuts mm-hmm. um very excited to to start and watch season three yeah um with so haste very good with haste sorry with haste, that's right. <laughs> Very quickly, yeah. yeah. Um, although uh, Joshi at PAX last year did give me an acquired nice uh, copy of season one, two, and three. So nice. Again, thank you so much, Joshi. Thank you, Joshi. Um, uh, but yes, um, I watched three other movies in a series this week over 24 hours. Um, I watched the three Agatha Christie murder mystery films. What the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> so we contacted some friends yeah. um, to potentially go and see a haunting. Sorry, did you contact Ka- Kenneth Branagh? <laughs> <laughs> Wish that would have been fine. Yeah. Um, but uh, to uh, to watch a haunting in Venice in mm-hmm. cinemas. Yeah, they then said, "Pretty sure that's on Disney Plus." Yeah, which it is, and it it's is also indeed. in cinemas. So we yeah. just went to their house to watch it instead. Yeah, um, I had seen murder on the orient express in cinemas did yep. we go see it together no okay you haven't seen it i haven't seen any of them i've, I've avoided okay. them like the plague so i'm intrigued to know sure they're fun <laughs> yeah okay they are actually fun i think yep. i think you would have a fun time with them yeah okay. um they follow a similar for- well the first two follow a similar formula mm-hmm. um the last one is a wild <laughs> change yeah i'm very interested to see what people say yeah i uh, in in discord about mm. the three movies um <laughs> yeah but yeah I, I remember watching the first one and thinking it was pretty good mm-hmm. um and it is it's good fun yeah um death on the nile uh was also good yeah um like you know they're, they're all fun um mm. i feel like it was more gory as well yeah right. you see a man get shot through the neck um so uh, it's pretty nice that, that cast also i mean the first one has death in it as well but that cast in the second one is aging like milk <laughs> Mm. Day by day, more and more people are a problem from that cast. Yeah, the first <laughs> the first movie's cast is huge. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's such like, a like. It is a, there's people in all three of them, but it is such a downward slope from the first one. <laughs> yes, yeah, absolutely. Because when we got to the third one, I'm like, eh. Michelle yeah. Yeoh. <laughs> yeah, like Tina Fey. <laughs> T- yeah, I I had only remembered Tina Fey by the end of that film. I'm like, man, they really didn't get <laughs> yeah many people, right? Like no. Tina Fey. Mm-hmm. It was like, oh yeah, and and Show Yo. Yeah. And there was like one or two other people. I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. yeah, it's not the um, big names though. <laughs> totally, yeah. But the last movie is like freaking weird, man. Yeah, like, right. It is a horror film. Um, like there's kind of like you know low-level jump scares in it there's weird like legitimate 
sort of ghost looking things and yeah right like things that look like scepters pulling people off buildings and stuff like it's nuts like it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty wild i have to i have to give him a scrub at some point yeah yeah give it a look uh do you I've, have anything else no nah, i'm much or nah. done anything in the last week <laughs> fair enough uh, i finished assassin's creed mirage nice loved it very good, good. time yeah very good time um i may platinum it but mm. i'm just trying to get through some games before the end of the year yeah, yeah. um i'm also afraid there is one missable achievement i should have looked it up before i got to the end of the game yeah um there is a potential that i may not have missed it yep um but if i have i may have to replay parts of the game again but i'll platinum most of it first and then just go back and do that one speed run it yeah um yeah it's basically you have to kidnap a sleeping soldier yeah okay that's pretty much it so Mm -hmm. you just have to like you have to use the the um, the dart the dart, the, yep. the blow dart, um, put them to sleep and then yeah, right. uh, steal a key off them or something. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty much it. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot of key so, stealing in that game. There is. There <laughs> is. So I'm hoping there's still some around. Yeah. Um, where, as I like 100% the rest of the mm-hmm. the place. Um, yeah. But we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Um, I started Cocoon. Nice. Um, on Game Pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's great. Yeah. It's really, really good. Mm-hmm. Um, I do, I, I recommend it uh, from what I've played so far. Mm. It's a great little puzzle game. Um, no HUD. Yeah, cool. Um, there's no health on the HUD either. There's mm-hmm. zero HUD. And there's zero tutorial mm-hmm. instructions that show up on the screen. Yeah, wow. Is it, it's definitely um, the Limbo Inside devs then. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the entire game is only movement and mm-hmm. pressing A. Sick. Or X. Yeah. Um, whatever you end up playing it on. Yeah. Uh, they do everything. Or pressing and holding A. There's no other buttons that do I like anything. it. I like um, it. So it's it's very simple, but there's so much to it. Mm-hmm. And there's like, yeah, it's it's very, very good. Like the way that they manage to do boss fights without mm, yeah. fighting <laughs> yeah. is like really interesting. And like, it's, it's very, very creative and clever. Yeah, cool. Um, so I do recommend... Yeah. Uh, and um, I, I mentioned to you yesterday, I have been preparing for a handheld classics game console. Mm. Um, uh, so I'm, I, I, I have requested for Christmas yeah. um, a Retroid um, Pocket 2S, yeah. uh, which can play up to, but not all of, uh, PS2 games yep. and GameCube. That's so um, cool. So it starts to struggle at that point, yep. but... Um, I've seen like, you know, Tony Hawk runs pretty well on it and stuff like that, which is good. So, <laughs> um, that's very good. Which is uh, good. <laughs> yes. Um, but there are some that, uh, you know, may have some sort of frame skips and stuff, mm-hmm. um, down to like apparently straight up not playable. Yeah. Right. Um, so there's, you know, there's groups online that have put together spreadsheets of, mm-hmm. uh, of games that work <laughs> for those higher end consoles Solid. and what to what to try, what not to try, how mm-hmm. to, like, for certain games that may not run well, how to, like, improve it slightly, like, yeah. what settings to change, because it's all based on an Android um, operating system, mm-hmm. playing uh, RetroArch, mm-hmm. um, the the software, so that is usable on, on Android. Yeah. Um, and there's a bunch of other emulators and stuff that can, can do the same. Yep. Um, and there's just so many resources online to optimize the... Uh, the playing experience, mm-hmm. um, sick. Uh, so I've been just absolutely <laughs> smashing my downloads this Good. this week. Yeah, um, my computer is nearly full. I uninstalled <laughs> a number of games on my laptop um, to, to download more games. <laughs> to download more games. That's right. Uh, so Fortnite, you're gone. Forty five gig or something. Which is I need ridiculous it. for that yeah. game. Um, yeah. So I think I'm nearly done. I think I've <laughs> nearly gotten all of the games that I can think of. Yeah, no. But that leads me to if there's any games that people want to recommend mm. from just up to GameCube and PlayStation 2 yep. and play, uh, PSP, hit me up. I mm. may have it already, but like Still feel, free to, feel free to send me some stuff, even if it's a series, yep. um, stuff like that. Like, you know, I've got, where's, where's my list? <laughs> my list here um i've got like you know uh all the tony hawks final fantasies 
um spider-man's like as many spider-man games as i can yeah grand theft autos pokemon zelda mario's yoshi donkey kong wario kirby metroid castlevania <laughs> professor layton also does uh ds ds yeah um your, your main sort of nintendo 64 games like banjo kazooie golden eye star fox mm-hmm. um conquers bad fur day stuff like that crash bandicoots um croc definitely on there <laughs> um bunch of star wars games uh burnout toy story games raymans thunderbirds i'm so excited <laughs> the fact that i'm gonna be able to walk around with this thing yeah yeah it's gonna have too much i'm not gonna know what to play and so, so i'm never gonna use it yeah yeah i was gonna say you've just you've just like infinitely scaled the amount of games you'll never play <laughs> <laughs> it's terrifying the ones that i'm gonna play are the ones that i've played like mm-hmm. tony hawk yeah yeah. It's going to be my Tony Hawk and Zelda machine. Insane. <laughs> <laughs> and like Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's just going to be a nostalgia machine for me. It'll it'll mean you won't uh, need Nintendo Switch online. You can just chuck all those games on that thing. This is true. This but is definitely true. Bye bye, um, Nintendo. Yes. And uh, I am excited to dip my toe into some Final Fantasies for mm. once. Yeah. Um I I am intrigued by the Final Fantasy 7 as mm-hmm. it continues on I'm like man. Mm. Maybe I do want to play some Final Fantasies. I've yeah. always I've always mentioned it. I've mm-hmm. always talked about wanting to play some JRPGs. Yeah. Um and having played some of uh Sea of Stars. Yeah. Um inspired by Chrono Trigger, mm. which then probably was inspired by or inspired a lot of Final it, Fantasy yeah. things. Yeah. Um I'm I'm really I'm feeling like maybe 2024 is my yeah, my wow. dip into JRPGs. JRPG time. Perhaps. Perfect time now that you have a device that can play have... every game ever. <laughs> That's right. That's it. Um, uh, good. Yeah, JRPGs started, you know, all classic stuff. So yep. walk around. I can play them forever. Yeah. And this thing, uh, I can play up to Final Fantasy 12. Sick. Which was also on PS2. It probably <laughs> won't run. No. We'll see. Yeah. Um. But at least it will run up to Final Fantasy eight, maybe nine, <laughs> which runs on PS one. Yeah, so there you go. Could Jesus. work. Could happen. Tell Josh some games to play. Yes, hit me up. Uh, I have no games. I don't have enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ever. Uh, I have no games to, that you should play. I've got some things that you can watch though, and a little thing we like to call that doesn't have the name of the segment. So I'll tell you what the name of the segment is after the funny little uh, stinger. Live on your television in 30 seconds. We like to call it the TV Guide. Um, kicking things off tomorrow yeah. uh, for you, if you're listening to this on Wednesday, Thursday, the 23rd, Napoleon, the new Ridley Scott film starring Ooh, Joaquin nice. Phoenix, uh, hit cinemas. The press tour for this has been wonderful. Any Ridley Scott press tour is great. Because yeah. you know how when Avatar 2 came out and James Cameron was like, uh you can just go page you're in my movie i don't care like that mm-hmm. kind of ridley scott's like that but like really grumpy old man version of it so yeah right they they were like hey you've got a sequence in the trailer where you're like firing uh, cannons at pyramids like is that accurate and his reply was genuinely i don't fucking give a shit <laughs> And so Amazing. they've been questioning so much about the film, and that is always his response. It's like, I don't fucking care, man. I'm making a movie. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> and so that's so good. My like, love that. my excitement for this was high. Um, Vanessa Kirby is in it as well, and I'm a big fan of her. Um, big fan mm-hmm. of Joaquin. So I was already keen, but just hearing that that it's going to be loosely historical, I'm like, that's more interesting. I'm down for that. Exactly. It's what makes Assassin's Creed super interesting. Totally. Too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Should get, Make it ridiculous. They should get him to play Assassin's Creed and get him to critique it. <laughs> like, Hell yeah. He'd love it. Uh, that's on the Luke. 23rd. On the 26th, Sunday, hitting Disney Plus is Doctor Who the Star Beast, the first Ooh. of the three specials. Very, very, very excited. Cool. Um, there's David Tennant? David Tennant. Uh, Catherine Tate. Yes. Um, Russell T. Davies in a, said a quote this morning, which was really interesting about the three specials. I think Tennant might have said a, been a part of this as well. But they've said that the Star Beast, the first one, it's kind of like the oh, I remember Doctor Who. Like this is the this is this could have been plucked out of series four, and you'd be like, oh yeah, this is Doctor Who. Apparently, Amazing. next week uh, is a special is like borderline horror and has some of the strangest and most Ooh. uncomfortable is the word uh, things that Doctor Who has ever seen. And I'm like. 
<laughs> what is that? <laughs> wow. Okay, um, cool. And then the finale apparently is just like Marvel level madness and explosions and, and wild stuff. So Jeez. They've, so, uh, <laughs> yeah. they've got the Disney money. They've got that Disney money. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm very keen to see it all. And yeah, it all kicks Sick. off on, on Sunday on Disney Plus for us in Australia. Um, and then staying with Disney Plus, that's all I've got this week. Uh, Wednesday next week, uh, when maybe another podcast drops, uh, The Artful Dodger kicks off, which I'm very excited for. Mm. This yeah. is like adult Artful Dodger. He's now moved into being a doctor in that kind of era of time. And the the world of Fagin and everything catches up on him. And he's having to battle moving past crime and uh, and his normal life. It's like Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> but uh amazing it looked very very fun and i'm keen for that um, as soon as i saw the actor i'm like mm. artful dodger yeah like, totally yeah perfectly cast uh, amazing i feel like he got older i feel like he grew up and then in this now he looks like the like oh he never grew upness i feel like i remember you sending me a picture of him and being like wow he yeah. looks so different yeah and when i saw him i'm like wow he looks 10 again T uh, t Thomas Brody Sausage Sandwich, I think is his name. Nice. Yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that was it. Uh, he was in Doctor Who as well. I forgot he was in Doctor Who. He was the kid he in the, the Family of Blood. Um, yes. Uh, also on Wednesday is the behind the scenes doco for Loki season two. Um, so perfect for you, nice. Josh, to watch the nice. behind the scenes I'm, I'm doco. on it. Yeah. We did watch half of the first episode of Loki while we were waiting <laughs> for our friends to arrive to their own home. Nice. <laughs> Yeah, nice. we were in their house. Mm -hmm. Good start. Watching, watching Loki. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we will get back to that. Um, yeah. I am. I'm very keen to watch. Mm -hmm. That first step is very good. It's very fun. Yes. Um, this so. is the yeah, first first step. Oh, the very first. I mean, yeah, that's a great yeah, yeah, episode yeah. too. Um, yeah, yeah. Because Max, Max has not watched. Of course. Uh, he's not watched much, if any, of the, the TV. Marvel TV shows. Yeah. 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 yeah so. Enjoy. Yeah, should be good. I, but, and I think Milk said it in the Discord as well. It's really funny. Season two actually just feels like six more episodes of season one. So watching it as a single <laughs> watch is the right way to go. It's it's nice. Separately, it feels like oh, what? I don't really know where. But as a single run, it is it is one show. It is just a, yeah, great. a, a twelve episode show, which is really cool. Cool. So, enjoy yeah. that. Um, uh, that's all the pod. But last week we teased some news, didn't we, Joshua? We did some big. We did. I don't think we said these words, but ground shattering news. It's pretty, it's, it's pretty, it's big. pretty huge. Mm. It is. So I'm smiling, <laughs> but it's not, it's, it's, it's one of those smiles where yeah, it's like, yeah. what else are you going to do? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's hard not to smile. Um, uh, so if you're on some ground, I'd, I'd move to the side. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it might shatter. Uh, That's right. Uh, we have been uh, on a journey this year. All of the whole team of Edo has been on a big journey this year. A lot of changes has happened across mm -hmm. the team. You know of them. Josh, you had a big change. Uh, I did. I believe you are now off the menu for a little while. <laughs> I am. I am off the menu for a bit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> correct. <laughs> so we have had to have a bit of a rethink and a restructure mm -hmm. as we've gotten to the end of the year. And the big call that we've made, uh, the, there will be a full written thing of this as well, if you want more information, uh, is that Edo is going to go on a little bit of a break. And by which we mean we are going to have one. We're going to have yeah. a break. Um, yeah. And that will start at the end of the year and go on in forever. <laughs> <laughs> potentially <laughs> we we don't really have like a, a time frame for this break mm. um of like you know let's let's take a few months off or yeah. six months or a year or whatever mm -hmm. it's just kind of like where we, we don't know where to go with edo yeah. at this stage um and you know like we'll said we've got a lot of different uh different life mm. changes that have happened this year yeah um where uh, yeah, we kind of have different focuses, different things we need to explore or put our time into and focus on. Yeah. Um, and Edo, as much as we absolutely uh, love doing it yep. and love you guys, uh, we it, it, it is a lot of time yep. um, from week to week uh, to do streams and podcasts and editing and, yep. and organizing and things like that. Um, but that doesn't mean that we are completely gone mm. um, at all. Yeah. Uh, the the patreon will be closing mm. um so we will come back and address that but yep. the discord will stay open it will be open to everybody so people yep. can can come on in yeah um who weren't in there before which is great 
Um, and uh, Will and I have discussed still doing some semi-regular podcasts yep. um, together, um, like just a, basically a catch-up every- This thing, yeah. Yeah, every, every month or every few months or something like that. So, yep. not completely gone. That was- what is <laughs> I'm glitching <laughs> out, man. <laughs> oh, no, it's the end. It really is. <laughs> um. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there, there may be, like, you know, very infrequent streams and things like that. So, Edo is mm-hmm. not completely closing. Yeah. It's just going to be a lot more minimal. It's not going to be, like, regular yep. weekly content or weekly streams and yep. things like that. Yep. It'll just be whenever we have a thing to talk about, whenever mm-hmm. we have a game we might want to play together and, and things like that. Mm-hmm. Which is um, why we want to shut the Patreon, because we don't want to be taking any money when we're not treating right. this as a job like we have done. Yes. Um, yes. So, yeah, that's why it's going away. And we have we appreciate every dollar anyone has mm-hmm. ever given us. It means a lot. We've bought a lot of milk. We've bought a lot of Eskies and so mm-hmm. many different, th- not just milk related things. It's helped us buy games uh, that we've played for you. I'm glitching out, man. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the- <laughs> You're not going to have any money to buy new gear to, no, to right. fix these problems. Yeah. Now. It's probably good. Uh, Put it back. A lot of our gear as well, like the, yeah. the microphones and, and stuff that... Um, we've we've got to do this stuff and to improve the content yep. um in so many different ways has been through uh the sponsorships all of the mm. money that we've gotten has been put straight back into this yeah yep. um, or into you know buying a movie ticket so that we can go and watch it and talk about it on a Part podcast yeah um thing, things like that so it's all it's all been straight back into this it's definitely it's not in our pockets mm. at all no. um and i yeah um we yep. we will still be around we'll be in the discord yeah um we are hoping to you know with with all the extra free time that we'll have oh, to be able happening. to join some of the community yep. events and things i don't know what's happening <laughs> i'm gonna turn my camera off for now <laughs> <laughs> so funny um yeah to to join your uh the community events that um that uh joshy puts on and, and yep. things like that um to jump in to play games with you guys and um just to be regular members of of the community um totally. still and we do also we we have discussed um uh still working out how to do you know maybe like a pax thing mm. um yep. every year like still still doing some sort of pax uh related uh content show panel that yes. sort of stuff yeah totally um yeah so we'll we'll see what form that takes yeah uh but yeah we're we're not gone no we are still, as the um, is he gonna say? Uh, it? Yeah, as the thing. Wait, how did you word it? It was like oh, yeah. disgustingly close friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's been no falling out or anything like no. that. It's just it just feels like a time to to take a step back and to yep. redirect our our energy and our focus into our own lives and and progressing those yep. uh, in in different ways. So yeah, totally. No, yeah. as Luke Skywalker says. Uh, oh! He also says, um, no one ever- I didn't even hear <laughs> no, no, that. Course. Discord did not allow that noise through. Uh, no one's ever really gone and neither are we. Except for my camera. I, I For visual watches, I've been a still for a lot of this because it's not worth showing you what's happening. I don't know what's happening. Whatever is in the funds uh, will help to restore my camera. <laughs> um, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for, for supporting us. Uh, we've been on the Patreon for five years. We've been on YouTube even longer. Thank you, everyone, mm. for sticking around. Uh, and we're not done yet. We still, yeah, we've got Doctor Who content, Sam and I. Um, we've got our awards videos to shoot. And very shortly, mm. um, early next week, we'll be dropping a Google form for everyone to fill out. Tell us what movies you've been watching and TV and stuff, and we'll obviously include them in the discussion. Um, we're recording them on the 2nd of December, so get them in before then. You can't do it yet because the form yep. doesn't exist. But when, That's it's, right. when it does, fucking move. <laughs> you have a week and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Get them in. Get them in. Uh, and awesome. watch Final Space before it disappears. Um, yeah. Yes. Thank you, everyone. Uh, and nice. uh, we're sorry we have to bring you this news on a Wednesday, but we wanted to get it out as soon as possible so that we can all be excited for our last few bits of content for the rest of the year. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. I don't know how to end the pod now. <laughs> no, put that earth back beneath your feet. We've got more yeah. stuff happening. Um, move back onto the ground. Uh, we'll be back soon. We will. Uh, we will. But until we're back, we've been well. And we have been Josh. We were to say that. Bye, everyone. (laughs) Bye, guys. (laughs)